I win! <laughs> you know your game? It's really dumb. Yeah, but it's a lot more fun than Beryl's dumb activities. <laughs> Children! I've just had the most terrific idea. We're all going on a hike tonight, and we'll sleep under the stars in the forest. Get your things ready, and we'll all meet right here in one hour. Yay! Yay! Do you realize we're going to sleep in the forest? It's awesome. I'm sure I'll get all kinds of great new scoops for my blog. Sure, it's great, but it's really risky. The valley is full of weird spots. We can't let the grown-ups find them. Squeak, ready? Forget it, he just wants to laze around. You will all gather here in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Zero! What's all that stuff? Our equipment, of course. <gasps> One mile in the woods, it's so good, it's so good. One mile in the woods, it's so good for your legs. Two miles in the woods, it's so good, it's so good. Two miles in the woods. Be careful, a root. Be careful, a root. Three miles in the woods, it's so good. Be it's careful. So good. Ah! Three miles in the woods, it's so good for your legs. Ignatius. You are so strong. Could you take part of poor Malik's load for him? Oh, absolutely, Madame Director. <laughs> oh, sure. I bet he couldn't even carry my pack. What do you mean, I couldn't? <laughs> what do you think, eh? <laughs> Oh, that doesn't count. Brian's backpack's very light, but mine, on the other hand... Stop! It's time for a little break. Hmm, now I think it's got to be to the right. Oh, no, no, it's left. Although, I wonder if after all... Next. We have to be careful. We're right next to the Beaver Brothers Casino Cavern. Oh. Miss Beryl? Uh, could I try leading the group towards a spot for camping? Excellent initiative! Uh, I was just about to suggest it. <laughs> wow! wow! This place really is like a fairy tale. It's, it's perfect for princesses like us! <laughs> I think we're good. We'll set up camp here for the night. Oh, Ignatius, here you are at last. May I suggest that you hurry up and set up camp before the sun sets? Thank you. Oh, kids, <gasps> we're going to play setting up camp without the help of grown-ups. Ever heard of it? <sighs> what are we going to do with all these things? Brian, that is a very good question. Huh? This is a cooking stove that uses yeah. cow dung. We have multi-seating outhouses filled with scented oils, a solar-powered hot water tank for our showers, a terracotta refrigerator for our food, and last but not least, a special anti-rain system designed by Ignatius. <laughs> Absolutely. Demonstration. Whoa! Totally waterproof, guaranteed to protect us against the worst storms, built in inflatable oh. mattresses. Even the lights can't come in. Great! While Ignatius folds up his masterpiece, Ooh. we will all start singing together and we shall wait for sunset. Whoa! <laughs> It happens soon. There's something weird about this place. The sun hasn't moved an inch since we've gotten here. And I've already double checked my map. Is there anything special here? Hand it to the King of the Compass. 
You could start by getting north and south right. You'd be better off. Actually, we're right here. In the... <gasps> The enchanted, the enchanted clearing, clearing where, the, where sun the sun never, never sets? sets? <gasps> oh, no. According to Granny, the Floopaloo put a spell on this clearing so he could walk around on nights when he couldn't sleep. That's no good. The grown-ups can't find out about this. Um, uh, do you know what time it is, please? Absolutely. It's 8.04. Huh? Impossible! Have you seen the sun? It looks more like five o'clock. And now it's tea time. Here you go. It's on the house. Food liquor. <sighs> ah! The grown-ups have passed out! No, they're not. They're just sleeping thanks to some super concentrated sleepy time tea. That way they won't find out that we're in a very special clearing. We'll tell you all about it. This is Matt the Blogger, live from the Insomnia Clearing. It's midnight and the sun is still shining. What do our witnesses think of this incredible phenomenon? This endless day is great. We can stay out and tan till dawn. I'm with you on this one, girls. That's great and all, but if one of the grown-ups wakes up in the middle of the night, I mean the day, we're done for. Uh, so we're going to take shelter from the light under this tent. Uh. Let the men handle this. Okay. Good going, men. Here we go. You were right, Greta. These snails really stick super well. Oh. Ladies and gents, we did it! There you go, it's officially nighttime. Yoo-hoo! <sighs> what? Oh no! Uh, what is it? Ignatius? <laughs> You seem frightened of something. Not at all. What makes you say that? I'm shivering from the cold. Hmm. Uh, would you mind checking that noise out? Where are you going, Ignatius? Shh, shh, shh. I want to hear everyone sleeping. No, don't go, please. What if you don't come back? What would we do without you? D -d Don't panic. <laughs> You'll bring me bad luck talking like that. <gasps> ah! Be careful. I wanted to go pee, and I saw a huge animal in the bushes. I got really scared. C -c Come now, Malik. That's just nonsense. Follow me. No! Otherwise, it'll be just like in a horror movie. As soon as someone leaves the group, they disappear. Malik, that is exactly why one should always pee before going to bed. So no one moves a muscle. That'll teach you. To bed. Are you sleeping, children? Yes. yes. What if someone sang a lullaby so I could... Uh, I mean that we could go to sleep. One mile counting sheep. It's so good, it's so good. One mile counting sheep. It's so good for your dreams. Hmm. Two miles counting sheep. So good, it's so good. One mile counting sheep. Ignatius goes to sleep. Well, what is this? What time is it? Hmm? <laughs> oh, I slept like a log. Huh? Ignatius, your sleeping bag is all wet. Oh, my. Don't tell me that you... Look over there. I heard a striped moose. Beautiful, huh? All right, then. Let's pack up everything and go back home. <laughs> 
What have you done with my anti-rain system? Oh, well, the animals last night came around and munched on it. The poor things must have been really hungry. Get up, we're breaking camp. Huh? <laughs> That's a great tan you've got, Brian. Hey, lobsters, speak for yourselves. Ah! <laughs> hey, check this out. An enchanted pear tree. Maybe it's a gift from the Flupaloo to say thank you. Ah. Mm, that's really good. Okay, who's going to guide us back? Uh, um, me, I think. Ten miles in the woods, it's so good, it's so good. Ten miles in the woods, it's so good for me. Huh? What is wrong with this map? There, isn't that better? <laughs> Come on, it's this way. Wait. Campus? Where are you? You! Don't leave me alone! There's some weird animal! 